Lars Young. Lars Young. All right. What's going on, everybody? I am Lars Young. Fineo, you already know what it is. I am in a special place right now for my birthday weekend, you know what I'm saying? For my birthday getaway. And I'm about to meet up with somebody that I know y'all not expecting for me to meet up with. And this is about to be crazy. You better believe that. So I'm looking around and I think he's coming right now. He's, yeah, I got somebody about to pull up on us. And uh, it's gonna be a surprise. <laughs> come, come on over here. Let, let's tell the people who it is. So, uh, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me show you guys what's going on right now. Let me show you guys. Hey, anybody know who this is right here? <laughs> Who's this right here? PK, baby, the legend, huh? And what he riding? Of course you know what he riding. Oh, we on that brand new 2020 PK thing, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, 27.5, baby. The man himself. What's up, fellas? Yo, do y'all see this? Oh, man. <laughs> do y'all see what's happening right now? I mean, come on. This wasn't planned. I mean, it just happened like that. PK, man. Good to what? be with you. Ah. Good to be with you, man, man. Tell him something real quick, anything. Just anything, no matter what it is. I'm just happy to be out, get out, ride the bike around. Nobody worry about wearing a stupid mask on your face. We just get out and ride and have fun. <laughs> yes. We just about to get out and ride and have fun. Y'all heard that? You know what I'm saying? So I brought my 26 inch 2018 OM. In, in honor of the original. Absolutely. In honor of the original Absolutely. Cruiser in Rider. Honor. Yes. Yes, the yes. original Cruiser Rider. The original, Stop right baby. off, yep. Hey. He's, a, he's the one behind the OM Flyer, the yes. best cruiser that was probably ever made. Man, hey, do, do I don't think y'all understand what's happening right now. So we literally, we just about to ride. And I'm going to take y'all along with us, and we about to just have fun and just make it do what it do. You already know what it is. Let them know. They already know what it is, right? They know what it is. <laughs> Stay with us. Now, that's a great escort right there. That's great, that's cool. <laughs> the legend. Man, I am now getting led by me and the legend, man. Man, do his city. Do his town. <laughs> Alright, the time has come. We about to roll out, baby. We about to roll out. What we about to do, BK? What, what, what's the route? Well, he's not a, we're gonna, we're in Carlsbad, we're gonna cross the lagoon, we're gonna go up to Oceanside, and we're gonna cruise around Oceanside a little bit, and, you know, that's it, just cruising. Kicking it. Straight up, we just kicking it, we just chilling, you already know what it is, no less than 10 miles, it don't matter who I'm with, don't matter where I'm at, it's always no less than 10 miles, baby, you already know what it is. Time to ride. <laughs> Here we go. Really out here, baby. Already, here we go. Here we go. Already warming up. He warming up, baby. He warming up. Hey, you already know I'm the hype man. Hey, hey, you know I'm the hype man. He already warming up. We haven't even. We only did two pedals, and he already getting them up. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Hey, real quick, I want to give a big shout out to Big Bike BMX. Y'all see the jersey? You know what I'm saying? Looking real dope. Isaac Craig. Man, y'all did y'all thing with this. Thank y'all so much. Super dope gift, man. Thank y'all. Woo! I'm out here with PK, y'all. The legend. <laughs> that bridge. Cassidy Street. Cassidy Street Bridge. Cassidy Bridge, Bridge heading up towards Buccaneer Park. There we go. Buccaneer Beach. There we go. Man, this is crazy. PK the legend showing me all around town. Hey, this is unreal, y'all. Unreal. What a great feel. Train got the got the M track going. The M track <laughs> blowing the horn. Yeah. Hey. 
right now, but yeah. all the hours of the night. Oh yeah. So right now we going to the lagoon. We going about we to go pass, kick. We passed the lagoon. Oh, we passed the oh. That was where we went. We passed the lagoon. Oh, well, we passed the lagoon. Just right down, down to Buccaneer Beach right now. Now we going down to Buccaneer Beach. Let's get it. Beautiful, beautiful. So right now we we looking at looking at some nice mountain biking trails, you know what I'm saying? Be able to get it in, go down with the mountain bikes. You know, cause PK love mountain biking. <laughs> That's a little short. <laughs> yeah. So you know, he literally showing me all around, man, showing me the trails, showing me the town, everything. So, the harbor. Hey, let's go. Let's do it. Beautiful, the ocean side. What's this called again? The ocean side. What is this called? That's Oceanside Pier. Yeah, the Oceanside Pier. So that pier right there, that's the longest pier on the whole West Coast. Wow. The typical, from what I'm told. Right. Wow. This is in San Diego or California, the whole wow. West Coast, all the way up. Wow. Oceanside Pier, y'all. This is the Oceanside Pier right here. Riding along Oceanside. Straight vibe right here. Straight vibe. So right there, you see that? The, the stairs? Yeah, you see the stairs? Uh huh. So back in the '90s, they had this uh, uh, like a ramp contest, a, a, a BMX contest, and this dude—I don't know who he was—but he made himself local fame. He came fucking charging down there, bunny hopped. Whoa. Came off that wearing just like shorts, shoes, and a fucking little bucket helmet. Yeah. Cleared the flat section and landed about halfway down the, the second ramp section. Lands, actually probably about two thirds of the way down that thing. I mean, he fucking boosted it. Lands, explodes his front tire. Whoa. Eats shit and pretty much came through unscathed. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty fucking So nice. what was this, like an arena or something? What was this right here? What was this it before they tore it down? It's kind of like an amphitheater, right? Oh, okay, yeah, a they, theater. Yeah, they have, they have the little thing right there. They have like, like Eastern church service. Wow. Like that. It's cool, yeah. They'll what? have like they. I think they have Oceanside High School. I think it's had graduation series. Right. Oh, that's cool, man. Did y'all hear that? He's telling us the stories. You know what I mean? Stories. Some dude came <laughs> riding down those steps down they there, busted his front tire. They had a sequence shot of it in Ride Magazine. Wow. It was sick. I don't know who the dude was, but he made instant fucking legend status. Sheesh. So PK, man, while we riding right now, just tell us a little bit about that 27.5 you on right there. You know, just well, anything. This bike's kind of a combination of some of the best of each of the BMX cruisers. I mm. mean, you know, most of them were 26s starting out because that's what we had. Right. And you know, they started coming out riding 29s. 29s are, you know, good, nice, fast, smooth rolling bikes. But the 20, you know, the 26 always seemed to handle a little bit better. Mm -hmm. But a lot of guys seem to want to ride a 29. But you trade a 27.5, it kind of takes some of the best characteristics of both. Still has a, you know, big circumference of wheel, mm. but maybe a little bit more playful. You like yeah. to get into, a, you know, a, a pump track, yeah, so, so like that. But I put some. This, this bike's kind of like. Uh, old school styling means new school technology. Right, right, right. So I mean, it, it looks old school with the flowable tubing, but yeah. you know things like hydraulic disc brakes, yeah. or even the, the wheels and tires, they're set up tubeless. Mm. So the benefit of a tubeless, if you have the sealant and it works good in there, basically you kind of eliminate getting pit uh, yeah. flats or flats with uh, goat heads. So are you running tubeless right now? Or I am. Tube? I don't have any tubes in here. Nice. Right now. Nice. Yeah, I you know put it in there with a little bit of sealing. Yeah. It works now. It, it works really good. Woo. You know, we got the internal cables. I love go, it. That go through. There's a cassette, not a free will in the back. Super so, clean. So I mean it's just got a lot of the things. I mean we've been doing stuff like this on mountain bikes for some time. Yeah. But you know, BMX bikes are just you know, regular bikes that you know so everyone can, can Man. Ride. so it, I just when I wanted to do this it was kinda like the first bike that I did was kind of a retro kind of what I raced back in the day. But right. This one is something like I wanted to ride right now. Right now, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love it. It's like polished bike, 
You know, I never had too many of them, but I had them sometimes, but uh, but I always liked them, and I figured polish them black. That way, if anybody wants to Clean. customize it, they can put Ooh. whatever, you know, goods they want Ooh. on it. I'm just happy that SU is cool enough to actually listen and make Man. it. And it's, uh, and, you know, <laughs> I'm lucky to be selling it. Yes, <laughs> yes, it. yes. And hey, don't forget about that pad set, though. Don't forget about them snaps, that old school snapping pad set. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, this is this is part of the old school styling. Love it, love it. Yeah. Man, hey, y'all see y'all hear that? From PK himself, man. Like, pay attention. He breaking down the bike for y'all, for us. You know, I love that bike. I have that bike. You know what I'm saying? I love it. Hey, shout out to SE though. SE! Let's so, go, baby. The one thing I wanted to do on this bike too, you know, most of the bikes that are 27.5 BMX, they're all 27 plus, which mm. is like, you know, 2.8 or three inch wide, which is cool. I love to have a big fat tire. I love my fat ripper, that thing rides. Oh big. yeah. But there's a lot of people that don't want a super fat tire. So right. I made this one as fat as you can make it without being a uh, plus size. Yeah. So it's a two and a half, 2.5. Yeah. So it's fat enough, but it's, you know, still narrow enough to, roll fast sweet and don't mention those grips on there that everybody want the oakley grips, Them yeah. oakley grips. don't mention the oakley grips on there yeah i'm an oakley factory pilot for life <laughs> for life baby for, for life yeah. for life so yeah i'm lucky enough to go to oakley and say give me give me all that oh they just they offered i don't even say anything i just say thank you very much Ooh, thank you very much hey shout out to oakley baby oakley. shout out to oakley yeah. <laughs> yeah there you go there you go he back at it again keep that wheel up pk keep that wheel up baby i'm right here with you come on we got it baby we got blocks out here we got blocks out here baby no 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 we got blocks we got blocks baby we got blocks pk out here humping up the hills on one wheel Woo! man it's a beautiful thing y'all if y'all can just feel the vibes out here man the weather the weather is awesome not too hot man now we're, now we're heading to the, the oceanside harbor there we go there we go next stop oceanside harbor y'all oceanside harbor next stop Woo! And you can just drop down here, there's a little drop down, you see it? Oh, yeah. And then this is the bike, you see the bike path? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That runs all the way up to Vista. Wow. Wow. Eight miles or so up there. There we go. They say there's another bike trail right there. Eight mile bike trail. Woo! Man. Over here, I don't know if you're gonna see them or not. They have the Outrigger Canoe Clubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I quit racing, I basically raced from 74 and then the beginning of 84 is when I kind of like left racing. Right, right, right. When I got out of that, I raced, I raced, I got into Outrigger Canoe Racing for six years. Wow. Out of Marina Del Rey. Wow. So I lived in Venice at the time. There you go. So you can see they have the, I'll show you. So was that as competitive as BMXing? Well, it's a lot different, uh -huh. but it was a, a you know a team sport as opposed to an individual right. sport. Right. But I raced pro BMX, and I was in the best shape ever of my life as a mid pack canoe racer. Woo! So you see Oceanside over your over your canoe club. Yeah. So you might be able to see. Let's see. I don't think you can see anything in here. Yeah, but you can hear. Let's just check out the photos. And shit oh like yeah. That. So yeah, that's the kind of race I did that for six years and like from. 84 to 89. Wow. Raced six times from Catalina Island to Newport Ooh. Beach. That's a that's a long way. Man. Hey, it's, do y'all hear that? Like how many people knew that? How many people knew the, the legend PK did outrigging for Marina Del Rey Outrigger Canoe Club? Look at that. Yeah, this is Oceanside right here. It's an awesome sport, man. It's a freaking awesome sport. Man. I mean, you get into some long distance races, two hour races, you know, stuff. Wow. Sometimes shorter, sometimes longer. That's awesome. It's cool. That's awesome. Wow. <laughs> hey, y'all, pay attention. Exclusive, y'all. Pay attention. Woo! 
the legend, BK. We out here, baby. So I noticed these these uh, army helicopters and stuff is around here a lot. What? Why is there so many army choppers and stuff like just floating around like nothing? Well, just north of here is Camp Pendleton. Right. And Del Mar Base is just right. Got the, it. It's just right at the other side of the harbor over there. But it, it, that Camp Pendleton is about 15 miles long. Yeah. It basically separates San Diego County from Orange County. Got it. Got it. So when you come into San Clemente. Uh huh. I mean, you get out of Oceanside, you go through Camp Pendleton, and you come into San Clemente, yeah. then you're in Orange County, so it's... Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, when you come up over here, so I'll show you, there's two different jetties here. This is this is the North Jetty, uh -huh. and the one right there, right where we dropped down into the harbor, that was that's the South Jetty. So what exactly is a jetty, for those that don't know? Jetties is that, that long, you know, uh, stretch of rocks right oh, there. Oh, okay, Th so that's a jetty. That's a jetty, yeah. Exactly. Got it, right. got you it. Know, so, and then on the other side is it feeds into the harbor. Yeah. So so this is the harbor hot lap. Got it, oh Basically yeah. Basically what they do with the harbor hot lap, I'll show you. What they do is for, to time you, is you start at the line. You get going for one lap, and then when you hit, the, the, you hit the line after the first lap, then they start timing you. Oh. So you get your speed going up and then you see how fast you can just go around this thing. Whoa. Then they take the top five or six guys, put them in the, put them in the final. What? You know, and then, then, then you race it. So that's, that's the 4130. This is a Harbor Hot Lap. Ooh. I won it twice. Yeah. But the last one, Dale Holmes should have won. He pulled over and let me. Let, ah, let me, let but me. you still won, though. You still won. Well, whatever. It was hey, only hey. by the grace of his respect. Hey, shout out to Dale Holmes. Yeah. <laughs> shout out. Yeah, you know, with Donovan Ritter, he rides out here. Mickey Lundy was there out here go. doing it. You know, Mickey, Mickey actually could have won it, but he started on the outside. You know, so I think they just give me like they they, they know it's me over here, so they give me they give me they give me the old man. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, but that's sweet. So, so there's the South Jetty down over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So when you talk about you either surf the pier, the South Jetty, or the North Jetty. Got it, got it. Look at that right there. Yeah, that's I see him over there surfing it up. Good on, yeah. Man, that's sweet. Yeah, that's nice to have. That's sweet. Yeah, right. yeah, all right. It's perfect. It's perfect. So this is as far. This is on this this side, and then you can roll all the way around. You see where the Ocean Side mm -hmm. sign is right up over there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. At nighttime, they they uh, light it up. They, they end with different light, like ah, blue, purple, green, red. You know, got it, got it. Those different stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's so cool. So it's nice, like when they, you know, when they when they boats come in over here, they just look and see ocean side. You yeah. Know? I mean, it's like, you know, that's the, pretty. The sweet. next harbor up is uh, Dana Point. Okay. You know. Okay. Dana Point, and then uh, then from Dana Point is up to, to Newport. All right. But all those all these harbors. Actually, when I raced outriggers, they never had an outrigger. Uh, team down over here so hmm. the time i raced in san diego it was it was down actually in san diego but i raced out of like dana point harbor mm -hmm. out of newport harbor out of king's harbor and redondo beach and then my harbor which was newport that's which, sweet which was, uh, not newport but it was uh, marina del rey that's sweet and we go to santa barbara and race up there you know sometimes too that's super sweet yeah. so so what are you doing right now for like your extracurricular or just to keep your body in shape or uh, you, you know, know what i'm saying i i ride i mean you know because you know I'm, I, I sell the bikes i mean i ride a lot of mountain bikes I tell you the truth, I ride a lot of electric mountain bikes now, mm. you know, because... That's the future right there. Well, it's fun, you know, yeah. I mean, and, and I can get a lot, you know, you get a workout, not as much as I when I go on my regular mountain bike, obviously, but I mean, when I do, I still, you know, get a good workout. That's nice. Really oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. there, huh? <laughs> or is that a Nova wagon mm. right there? That's pretty sweet. <laughs> um, we, my family, we had a 63 Bel Air station mm. wagon. We got it when my, my, my sister was born. Mm. Uh, but, um... You know, so so pretty much ride bikes. You know, I also I disc golf. Mm. You know, my girlfriend turned me on to disc golf. There you and, go. Uh, yeah, you know, so it's uh, the in Vista. There's a, a park, Brangle Terrace Park, mm. and I mean, you go up and down those hills. It's a little it's bit of work. Be work. Yeah. I took a, I, I I took another old BMXer, uh, Mike Miranda. I took him out there this last week. You know, and he, he he's a real good golfer. You know, he figures he's gonna come out there and school me on the disc golf course. <laughs> You realize you have to learn some stuff, but yeah. he, he, has, he has some good form, you know. There you I, go. Take, I take Dwayne out, Dwayne Ballinger, he has fun. I went with Jeff Botima. Man. Yeah, we went out with take, take some guys. This usually is just fun, but yeah. I mean, if you go out there and like like anything, you learn to play.
yeah. if you want to do good, you know, yeah. then you kind of start obsessing over shit. Yeah, then you're going to compete. It's going to yeah. become competitive and you're going to compete Or not even just win. compete, you just want to compete with yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. So, I just, just I ride bikes, you know, and, and, and do stuff. I mean, I'm 60 years old now, so I really? got to... Really? Yeah, I got to... Man! I got to... Well, hey, that BMXing in that canoe, man, and... And shape, man. Jeez. Yeah. Hey, man, you look good, man. For real. Sixty, uh, yeah, nah. I'm lucky enough. To, like 60, I'm lucky man. enough to live in a place where you can you can ride there and you do go. stuff like that there most, you go. most of year round. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's, it's a blessing. You know, I mean, it's, it, it gets hot during the summer, but not too hot where you can't do anything. Yeah, like Palm Springs, you can't do nothing. Yeah, or like you know, Riverside sometimes. There you too, go. You know? Yeah, it gets it, it gets it gets hot out there. You know? Mm-hmm. I just lucky enough to like I grew up in Santa Monica, so I've, yeah. I've, I've always been like you know around the perfect, close, yeah, perfect close, weather, close by the beach. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's roll. Let's on. roll out. Man, what a beautiful thing! Getting a chance just to chop it up with PK, you know what I'm saying, on the personal side, and and see exactly you know what he got going on, and some of his loves and passions, and and what's keeping him ticking. You know what I mean? So. It's just super dope for him to even allow me, you know, to ask these type of questions and just to chill and, and ride around his hometown, man. This is a blessing right here, and it's just unreal. It just feels unreal, man. So shout out to PK, man. Shout out to everybody, the whole bike community. Shout out SC. You already know what it is, man. We out here. We ain't done yet, though. I ain't signing off. We still got stuff to do. Stay tuned. All right, so we just finished, you know, taking a little break, taking some pictures together, you know. And now we're going to go downtown right now. All right. Uphill battles. Uphill battle, baby. Woo. Oh, yeah. Out here putting in work on the 26 inch OM flyer, baby. Putting in work. No, not this, not yeah, like this. Carl's bat has it more you're at, like yeah, kind of England, Exactly. You know? Man. All right. So PK was just talking about that show, uh, Animal Kingdom, with the surfers and the bank robbers. So, you know, this is where they were at. They, this right. is where they shot it at. Right there. All right there. That was the, that they had that up. Movie Top Gun. Yeah, Top Gun. Yeah. They had that Top Gun house was right there. <laughs> Man, hey, pay attention, y'all. Y'all hear all this history? Top Gun, the Top Gun house, Animal Kingdom. I mean, all kind of movies and TV shows. Dope. Man, this is crazy, man. There's a bike path that rolls right through here, so we'll go over to the cup. Nice. We'll have some there we go. Yeah, so just like that, you know what I'm saying? On to the next bike path, and then we're going to wet our whistle a little bit. <laughs> we got bike, bike right here. Ooh, look at that, a bike locker. Wow. <laughs> they, got, they got them there at Carl's that too. I've never seen that before. So uh, what they do is... Yeah, got it. Okay, got, yeah, it, got it, got it, got it. My, my neck's you, getting tired. You know, I'm old, man. I'm old. Yeah. You, you ain't old, old, man. You, you are older now. Man. You are older, but you were far from old. <laughs> All right, I got you. I got you. So there's the guy right here. Look at that. Keep that wheel up, baby. Keep that wheel up. Yeah, right there. Huh? So Keep old. that wheel up. Yeah. yeah. Here you go. <laughs> here you go, GT. <laughs> hmm. Like you're practicing. Yep, practicing. Alright, so what we got? What they would say with those bike lockers, it was like, so you would ride your bike in here, put your bike in the bike locker, take the train, and then have another bike. At, a, at the other locker. At the other place, <laughs> and then ride it, you know, so basically, I, I just a story. Cool for it's like you a, have two bikes, Yeah, you know, and it's like a little bike there, story. You know? Man. It's a cool idea. I've never heard of that or seen that in my life. I think it's better just to be able to take the bike with you on the train. Yeah. They don't have enough room. Right, you know? right. Get a beer up here. There we go. Nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to get a beer up here. Yeah, I'm going to get a beer up here. Yeah, I'm going to get a beer up here. Yeah, I'm going to get a beer up here. Yeah, I'm going to get a beer
right word. Beautiful. So we're here right now, about to, at the cup. Get, get a little swig at the cup, is what it's called. So, you know, we're gonna see exactly what they so got going on. Man, this is crazy. We're about seven and a half miles, eight miles in. Stop right here at the cup. About to get some beverages, you know what I'm saying? Got the OM right here. Got PK 27.5 and what we got here, man? We got a little bit of... Amber, red, red amber. Ooh, red, red amber. I like the way that sounds. I like the way that sounds. Man, thank you, I don't have PK. those shoes, but I got that style. Thank you, y'all. All you like these? You know what I'm saying? A little something, something. Cheers, man. Hey, cheers. Right. Hey, you see that, man? Cheers with the legend, PK, man. Cheers. Mmm, right. mmm. All right, just like that, we out of here, man. Met some great people. Had some nice what's drinks, up, up? and now we are headed back to the truck. You know what I'm saying? Seven miles, seven and a half miles down. Got to finish up this 10 real quick. But man, what a blessing, you know what I'm saying? To sit at the table, talk about bike life, talk about BMXing, you know, and just have a drink, have a nice beer with PK, man. Like, this is unreal, but it's really happening. Hey, I hope y'all enjoying this, man, because I'm definitely enjoying it, you know what I'm saying? Stay with me. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. So this is the lagoon right here. This is the lagoon to my right, and this separates Oceanside to Carlsbad. So it separates Oceanside from Carlsbad, this lagoon. So now we are leaving Oceanside and crossing back into Carlsbad. <laughs> pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Stay with us. No less than 10 miles, baby. Yo, PK got me going up all these steep hills. Knowing we just finished drinking beer and eating pizza. And he want, he want, us, he want us to go up hills he ain't right for this he ain't right pk man you ain't right for this man you ain't right for this <laughs> hey 10 miles 10 miles baby no less than 10 miles we just hit our 10 mile mark ain't no faking over here i told y'all don't matter who i'm riding with don't matter where i'm at if i hop on these two wheels it's no less than 10 miles, baby. You already know what it is. Woo! We give it to him, PK. Give it to him, PK. Yeah. This how we gonna sign off. We signing off with that one wheel. Huh? That's how we signing off. Talk to him, PK. Give him some parting words. Talk to him. Right, it was great riding with you, man. Great <laughs> getting to know you. I look forward to riding with you again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, well, y'all see what's up. I told y'all, man, I'm still in disbelief. PK the legend, you know what I'm saying? Showed me around town. We went on a nice 10 mile ride. Had a nice beverage, you know? And I mean, all that good stuff. So, we're gonna go ahead and sign off, man. I hope y'all liked it. I hope y'all enjoy, because I definitely did. So did I. Huh? Just like that. I am Lars Young, PK, SC. You already know what it is. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for Nayo. And we out, baby. Y O H. A N A Y O H. For Nayo. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. There you go, my Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. Team for Do you want it on the bike? Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah, I want you to sign the bike. Get that 2020 on there. Put 2020 on there anywhere. 2020. Yeah. <sighs>
Thank you, thank you. Thank <laughs> yeah. you so much, PK. Yeah, thank, thank you, man. Thank you. Blessings. Thank you. Thank you Blessings, man. <laughs> Lars Young. Lars Young.